All right, so let's look at this past paper. May 2014. This is a nice, this is a nice one. In the diagram below, the coordinates of P and Q are 2, 4, and A2 respectively. So they're just telling us what's in the diagram and they said the line segment joining the origin 0, 0. To the point P may be written as OP. All right, so we didn't really need they didn't really need to state those things, but they do. All right, so what term is used to describe OP? Well, you could just free up yourself and collect that two marks. OP is the position vector, right? We talked about this. So OP is the position vector. We point P, two marks to that by. That's even a little fishy, but we can take it. Write each of the following in the form A, B. OP, let's go to a clean page. OP would be equal to, let's see this graph. So I'm looking here, two, four, I have a lamp for, for, for now ringing off. Alright, what we are doing OP, OP is 2, 4, so we'll go 2, 4 here and be good. What's the next one they wanted us to find? Um, OQ, OQ is here, so we're looking at Q. You know we we doing position vectors with when it's O something, right? So to change, to get that position vector, we just need to simply, you know, Flip around the coordinates. What is the coordinates of Q again? Why are I forgetting these things? 8, 2. So I put 8 here and 2 there because you know the top is the X and the bottom is the Y. Alright, this is going really easy so far. PQ, but this this question is not a tricky part in it. PQ, right? So you're going to use the triangle of vectors here, the triangle law. PQ, and remember I told you this law is like going to save you all the time. This is very important. OQ, take away OP. We already know what OQ is, OQ is 8, 2, take away, and yes, we know what OP is as well, 2, 4, we don't have any negative numbers to hot up we had here. So this is just going to be 6 and negative 2, alright, there we go. So PQ is 6, negative 2, what's next? So we get 2 marks, 1 mark, 1 mark, 2 marks, nice, nice, nice. Given that OP is equal to RQ, Hmm. So we get introduced to a new letter there. I realize that R was never mentioned before. Determine the coordinates of the point R. So we want the coordinates of that new point R. But they're giving us a condition. OP, which looks like this. OP. Uh, you all seen OP, right? Eyes on OP. OP is equal to RQ. So Q. R had a piece of memo there, so went. So OP equal to RQ, yeah man. So you can actually get a little visuals and it's side tip. When you're doing vectors, if they don't give you a sketch, you draw a sketch. So you can, you know, help break down the question. So how are we going to do this? By determining the coordinates of R. Once again, the triangle is going to come in handy and save us here. So let me look for a clean page for this. Um, I forget everything. Go back. What are we trying to do again, my? Right, so RQ, we'll use this RQ is equal to OQ take away OR. Here the thing, we actually know this because they said RQ is equal to OP or some kind of thing like that. And we know OQ and this is what we'll just need to find. And why are we finding this? Because when we find this, all of a sudden we'll be able to know the coordinates of R. Because this is the position vector, so we can use the position vector to get the coordinates. Alright, let's 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 go ahead with this. OP is equal to RQ. OP was, OP was what, boy? OP was 2, 4. So, let's substitute in 2, 4 here. No, sorry. Let's substitute in 2, 4 here. Because RQ is the same as OP, right? So, you just OP. And OQ, we have that already there too. That was 8, I forget again why, 8, 2, right? And all that leaves us to do is find OR now. So you just, this is like algebra where you bring across things and you know, sort out yourself. So OR, you know what I will do? I will bring across OR to get rid of the sign, the negative sign. So it comes across the equal sign. It turns positive and I'm going to bring across this. To there. So this one will turn negative. Take away 2, 4. You understand? I hope you understand what I just do there. So now I will get OR is 8 take away 2. Where is that by 6? And 2 take away 4. Negative 2. 
So therefore the coordinates of R, all I need to do is, you know, it's vertical, I just need to make it horizontal now. 6, negative 2. Nice. So let's look back at this. 6, negative 2, that looks like about 6. This looks like negative 2. You know what I'm doing? I'm just checking to make sure my answer makes sense. And you must do that in maths a lot. There's ways to check to see if your answer makes sense. And yes, my answer does make sense. So in closing, this question asks us to state the type of quadrilateral from my PQ arrow. That's a parallelogram. You can just watch that. See, that's a nice little parallelogram right there. So, well, yeah. So justify answer. Ooh, that's the, that's the tricky part there. So let me just write this on the same page here. What I would use to justify this. I'm just drawing this so that you can have something to look at while I'm talking. So this is the point R there. So the reason you're going to use to justify this is that RQ is equal to OP, which means they are parallel. And since they are also equal, it also means that PQ is equal to OR. Right? So we have two pairs of parallel sides. So you're writing all of this. OP is equal to RQ and PQ is equal to OR. We have two pairs of parallel sides. Um, no, that's the equal thing. Uh, you should do so. Right, so two pairs of parallel sides. So that's a parallelogram. That's the definition of a par parallelogram right there. And look at maths we gain for that. All right, so that's one vectors question out of the way. Let me know if you want the next vectors question. If you have things like translation vectors, if you want. Uh, matrix transformation, statistics, stuff, topics we haven't yet touched as yet. Ali, let me know now because you know Ali does let me know in the comments and thing. Later.